it activates a positive program for me because I no longer go into consumer debt. I no longer go into bad debt. The only type of debt I go into today is debt that makes me money, debt that makes me rich, debt that gives me tax deductions. So let's build those stacks of cash through earned income strategies, which we will dive into deeper tonight, step by step by step process, build stacks of cash. And if you've acquired any bad debts over time, let's pay those bad debts off. Once your bad debts are paid, you can reinvest that earned income into areas that would give us passive income for life. I, I know that, uh, that Moses uh, today on a couple of his mobile homes, he's going to get those mobile homes with seller financing. He has them under contract. The deals are done. He's just got to wait for park approval, which will happen at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Of course, Rhonda's with him every step of the way. A, a lot of these parks today are owner-occupied only parks. And, and uh, if you're brand new to the call, just because we're talking about mobile homes tonight, guys, let, let me be very clear. We can mentor you through the simplest mobile home deal, through the most complex commercial deal, large land development project, mobile homes, apartment buildings, um, and this webinar is about your start game. It's about your middle game. It's about your end game. If you're somebody on the training tonight that's brand new, that has no experience in real estate, man, what a great place to start earned income strategies. What a great place to start with mobile homes. Very, very simple, easy strategies to do to build some confidence. So Moses has got a couple of these mobile homes with seller financing. Now, when he sells these mobile homes, he's going to turn around and sell them with seller financing. In other words, Moses will just become the bank. Moses will collect finance income on these mobile homes. People will make monthly payments to him, not to a bank. Moses will have become the bank. Guys, when you learn how to become the bank, that's passive income. If you rent a mobile home or a single family home or apartment building, that's passive income. If I lease option a single family home, that's passive income. And guys, I'm not a big fan of just buying and renting, although we, we've done some. Um, we still have some today. I would much rather sell a home to somebody with seller financing where I'm the bank, sell a home to somebody with a lease option where they have an opportunity to own it. Because if they have an opportunity to own the property, they're going to have to put a down payment on the property. And if they put a down payment on it and they have an opportunity to own it, guys, uh, the chances of them taking better care of it are much, much greater. And they're just cleaner, easier deals. So you want to master three to five earned income strategies. You want to master three to five passive income strategies. And ultimately, guys, you want to build a portfolio that will stand the test of time and endure any economic condition. And you want to re really be focused on two to three strategies there. So can I tell you guys the wave of the future? I don't care what's going on in real estate. It doesn't matter to me if real estate's going up in value. It doesn't matter if real estate's going down in value. It doesn't matter if real estate's going sideways in value. We have the ability to make money in every single real estate market and cycle. You just got to know what cycle you're in today. and You got to know what that will create for you in the future. The cycle of the future, guys, is apartment buildings, mobile home parks, and RV parks. Now, somebody ought to be thinking to themselves, well, why is that the cycle of the future? Well, the reason why that's the cycle of the future, because of the cycle that we're in today. Our country has been dealing with a foreclosure crisis, a foreclosure epidemic. Our country is still dealing with a foreclosure crisis, a foreclosure epidemic, which I'm going to show you guys in just a moment. Because of the number of people that have lost their homes through the tax deed auction or the tax deed auction, tax lien auction, which is another area that we specialize in. My son, Greg Jr., since age 16, has done phenomenal with tax liens and tax deeds. Because of the number of people that have lost their homes at the tax deed auction, the tax lien auction, the foreclosure auction, it is creating a greater demand for apartment buildings, mobile home parks, and RV parks. So, guys, what you want to do is you want to first master earned income strategies. If you've got any bad debts, pay the bad debts off. Then take those stacks of cash that you have created and invest in passive income strategies. Just understand everything in your passive income pipeline becomes a part of your portfolio. Two to three years from today, you want to be focused on apartment buildings, mobile home parks, and RV parks. You've now created passive income that you can pass on to the next generation that will stand the test of time. 
So if you pa if you mastered three earned income strategies and three passive income strategies, that's six, and two portfolio income strategies, that's eight. Now, guys, this stuff doesn't happen overnight. And and you know the 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 number one advice I can give to every one of you on the training tonight is don't let your excitement outrun your education. And I uh, have worked with students for months until they were prepared to come into the, the consulting program. And, and I will tell you, if you're on this training, don't wait months. Guys, you want to get in right now with every single thing that you've got. And with that said, I've had people wait a week, wait two weeks, wait two months, wait three months. And, and whatever works for you, we're here. And then they've waited and they've waited and they've waited and then they come into the consulting program and they expect things to happen overnight. Guys, there's a lot of work that's got to be done here. Databases of people that have to be created, power teams of people. And it doesn't happen overnight. For you to master three earned income strategies, three passive income strategies, three portfolio income strategies, guys, that's going to take about two years. Now, with that said, does it take you two years to start making money? The answer to that is no. And this is what I love about our financial education program versus the traditional education system. We're shipping our kids off to college for four years. They're coming home in debt with bad credit and maybe they get a job. Guys in real estate investing, master one skill, start doing those deals and then you can move on to the next skill and the next skill and the next skill. So two years from today, you've mastered eight different strategies in real estate, do you understand you've got a paycheck coming in from eight other sources than your job? I mean, how many of you think you could comfortably live off of eight paychecks a month instead of one? Would life feel a little bit more secure for you? I guarantee you that it would. And guys, let's listen, your start game, earned income strategies, middle game, passive income strategies, end game, portfolio income strategies. So I was working with a student last week. They were retired. They had about a half a million dollars um, between IRA, stocks, investment accounts. And uh, they weren't really interested in those earned income strategies. I don't blame them. I wouldn't be either. They've put themselves in a position. They're on third base. They're retired. They're in the last chapter of their life. They're ready to come home. Those people need to learn how to become gap funders and hard money lenders. Now, to actually become a gap funder and a hard money lender, there's a whole bunch of regulations that you have to go through. You actually can join me, you can join my team, and we can show you how to invest that money as a syndication in a pool and become a gap funder for returns as high as 35% annualized. Those are actually minimum returns for a gap funder. And, uh, Guys, at the end of the webinar tonight, you'll have an email. You want to get on a call with me and my team. We are more than happy to map out your start plan, your middle plan, your end plan, because every one of you on the training tonight, you're in a different place financially. Depending on where you're at in life financially is going to determine your start game. It's going to determine your middle game. It's going to determine your end game. And the, the beauty is when you master multiple areas of real estate from a common database, and guys, you must build a database of buyers, sellers, investors, rehabbers, investors that pay cash for properties. If, if, you're, if you're just now starting out and you're in your start game, the most important thing you could do would be to build a database of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 investors that pay cash for properties. Guys, if you had 20 investors in your database that paid cash for properties, 30 investors, 40 investors, do you understand that doing deals and finding money to do deals would never, ever be a problem for you again? And if you're on this webinar, you should have my nine tool bundle. And in my nine tool bundle, I give it to you for free. There is a script in there for everything you could ever imagine that you would need to do in real estate. There is a script in there to call investors that pay cash for properties. Now, a lot of you might be thinking right now, well, how do I find those investors? Well, there's multiple different ways that we can find those investors. And later tonight on the webinar, I'm going to explain that to you. And when you master multiple areas of real estate, foreclosures, options, lease options, wholesaling, discount buying, flips, fix and flips, assignments, discount notes and mortgages, mobile homes, cash flow. When you dovetail those strategies together, guys, we can maximize our profits and we can reduce what we pay in taxes. 
I love to maximize profits and reduce what we pay in taxes. And guys, when you come to my three-day event, I take one strategy. I start out with a pre-foreclosure. I show you how to get the pre-foreclosure, not using any of your money or any of your credit. And I turn around, <coughs> excuse me, show you how to legally take control of that piece of property, turn around and sell that property with a lease option over a three-year period of time. And on a $200,000 house, we make about $150,000 in three years. And we dovetail six or seven strategies all into one. That is called becoming a transactional engineer. And that doesn't happen overnight. That's going to take some time. It's going to take some specialized knowledge. It's going to take some training. Now, again, if you're brand new and you're just here tonight and, and you're starting out or you've been in the business and you've been struggling, your start game will be with earned income strategies. So there's a couple of different types of earned income strategies. And here's what you guys got to know on the webinar tonight. Close the deal. Guys, good deals will find the money. The money will always find good deals. All good deals get done. I, I don't know of one consulting call I've ever had with one of my consulting students. If it's a good deal, we're going to find a way to get the deal done. Because if it's a good deal, we'll find the money for the deal. The money will find the deal. And one of my universal laws, and, and, and if you don't have my universal laws CD, guys, you want to get that CD. If you don't have my book, Entrepreneur Unleashed, you want to get that book. Um, because in, in the book, Entrepreneur Unleashed, there are 54 universal laws of becoming an entrepreneur, of becoming a real estate investor. And one of them is I will never contract to buy a property unless I already have it sold, assigned, or a tenant to put in it. Good deals will find the money. The money will find good deals. All good deals get done. If I've got a database of investors that are cash buyers and I know what those people want to buy and I go find it for them in my software, I get it under contract and I assign it to them, the good deal is going to get done. It's got to be a good deal, though. You got to be able to go out there and find those good deals. And I get it. If you go talk to your realtor, they're going to tell you there's no deals left out there. Well, that's just absolutely baloney. I was talking to, talking to Ross Walker today on a one-on-one -on -one <laughs> consulting call, him and I together. And, and uh, he, uh, he's in Omaha, Nebraska. Very competitive real estate market. And, you know, he's been told there's no good deals out there. Well, him and I uh, jumped on a meeting together, go to, I shared my screen, and I went right into the software, went in Omaha, Nebraska. I pulled up properties in pre-foreclosure. And the first four properties on the page all had $50,000 worth of equity in them. The first four. He was blown away. It's because people don't understand this business at the level we understand this business. And if you're just going to rely on a realtor or on the MLS, multiple listing service, where realtors advertise properties, you're going to have a hard time, guys. And if you're a realtor on the training tonight, you understand this very clearly. The name and the game of buying and selling homes is changing. And guess who's taking over? Investors are taking over. We're taking over. We didn't, we, not, not intentionally. It's because of technology. It's because of the tools that are out there now that I have at my fingertips. And, 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 and I love realtors. Just get in this game. Get on the right side of the fence with me. Now, I do want you to know if, if you're somebody on the call that has some experience and you've done some assignments and you're ready to get into the fix and flip world, we do have unlimited funding for fix and flips. I can do a 7,100. I can do an 8,100. I can do a 9,100. I, I, I can even do it. So let's say that you were doing an 8,100, $200,000 home. We'll do 80% of the purchase price, 100% of, uh, of the rehab. That means you got to come up with 40 grand down. If you don't have the 40 grand to put down, we'll fund the gap for you. In other words, you can get into the deal with absolutely no skin in the game at all. I'm going to take half the profit. Now, I think that's pretty fair. You find a deal, you find a good deal, you got no skin in the game at all, no money in the deal at all, and, if, and, and, and we won't fund the deal if it's not a good deal. And if it's a good deal, the good deals get done, we'll take half the profit. Now, the good news is, let's say there's a $50,000 profit. You get 25, we get 25. This is business. Well, you only need to do a couple of those to where you no longer need me to fund the gap. Now, here's the beautiful thing. You do five of those, six of those, seven of those, eight of those, nine of those, 10 of those. Guess what you're ready to become? A gap funder just like us.
And guys, I can help you to do that now. If you're a very experienced investor and you've done 10 fix and flips in the last 24 months, I will get you a $5 million line of credit if you're for your fix and flips. And uh, I just do want the students on the line to know if you have provable income, we do now have financing available for our consulting packages. That's purely voluntary. If you are interested in that, just let me know and inquire about that. So I'm going to dive into earned income strategies and I'm going to dive into the strategy of flip that contract. I just want you guys to know when you're ready to fix and flip, we've got unlimited funding for those fix and flips and it's not going to be based on your credit score. We don't care what your credit score is. It can be a negative credit score. We're going to base the fix and flip on the deal. The beautiful thing is, is if we fund the deal, it's a good deal. If we don't fund the deal, guess what? It's not a good deal. So keys to wholesaling, there are two types of quick turn, quick turnarounds. I can buy it, close on it, fix it up, sell it. That's a fix and flip. I love fix and flips and that you're going to be able to make some big money on fix and flips out there in the marketplace right now today and understand, you know, you got, if you're going to do your fix and flips, you're going to tie up money and tie up time for a considerable amount of time. I would highly recommend if you're a beginner that we start with the process of assignment of contract. We could also start with mobile homes. Now, when I talk about assignment of contract, I'm basically talking about flip the contract. If it's a great deal, and I have it under contract. Who controls the property? I do. And if it's a great deal and I've got an investor database of investors and I go to them and say, hey, guys, I found a great deal. I'm willing to pass it along to you for a finder's fee. Will other investors be willing to pay me a finder's fee? Well, of course, they're going to be willing to pay me a finder's fee. They don't care how much money I make. They only care about one thing. They care about how much money they're going to make. Now, you can't call it a finder's fee. It's got to be called an assignment of contract. So let's say I find somebody in pre-foreclosure. They're motivated sellers. I get their property under contract. They sign the contract. I sign the contract. In the contract, it says I have the right to assign them. Guys, I can assign that to an investor in my investor database for an assignment fee. Guys, words of wisdom. Buy and sell to create cash so you have the money to buy and hold to create wealth. Wholesale buying is a key to your way to become a master investor. Let's start, let's take this one step at a time, guys. Let's start with earned income strategies. Let's build the stacks of cash, pay off any bad debts that you have, reinvest in areas that give us passive income at all times, knowing three, two to three years from today, you want to be focused on apartment buildings, mobile home parks, and RV parks. Uh, my son, Greg Jr. and I, the Legacy and Lease family, we are in the middle of a major, major land development project, 37 acres of land on the Homosassa River. It, it's just, it, it's a lot of work. So rewarding and so very, very exciting. And on these deals, guys, if you're not embarrassed by the offer you made, you offered too much. I don't know how many times I was working with consulting students and I said, hey, man, let's offer this. They're like, I can't do that. I can't do that. Well, you know what? On a mobile home, <laughs> Greg Jr. was working a mobile home. We were, we were in... Um, um, Orlando, Florida, doing a three-day event this past weekend. And while we're in Orlando, Florida, of course, Greg Jr. Um, is in the back of the room working on deals. And he had a mobile home. The guy was asking ten grand for it. When Greg got, Jr. got done, he was getting it for $4,000. Now, did he start at $4,000? To get it for $4,000, he had to start for less than that. If you're not embarrassed by the offer you made on these properties, you've offered too much. You will never get the property at a discount unless you offer to get them at a discount. Now, when you come into my consulting program, guys, we teach you how to make these offers very, very safely. When we make these offers, we make them with what's called a letter of intent, an LOI. A letter of intent is not an obligation to purchase. It's a serious first step in negotiations to see if somebody's close to where I want to be at on price, to see how flexible they're going to be at on price. Now, if they bite on one of the letters of intent, we then go inspect the property. If we like what we see, we do get the property under contract. Now, if I have a property under contract, that is an obligation to purchase with the exception that we put on the contract that it's subject to partner's approval within a 14-day inspection period. So if I got a property under contract that I want to assign and I have it under contract subject to partner's approval with the 14-day inspection period, how many days does that give me to get the property assigned? Well, 14 days. 
if I've already got an investor database in place, I wouldn't be looking for properties unless I was looking for something that my investor wanted. I get them under contract in the morning and have them assigned by lunch. And I just gave you guys a way to buy yourselves 14 days of breathing room. Let's go through the process step by step by step. Assignment of contract, find the property. Now, this is going to be one of the most important steps right here. You've got to find the right properties. Uh, the process of assignment of contract is not going to work on properties that are listed with realtors. So these properties are going to come from one of four resources. If you guys aren't taking notes, you should be. Resource number one, properties that I have found in free pre-foreclosure that I've scanned for equity. In other words, the property's worth more than what the amount of default is. And, and um, I get people all the time that say, well, you can't find properties in my market area in pre-foreclosure that have equity in them. And I say, you can't. I must. Just watch me. And I'm going to prove it to you in just a moment tonight on the webinar. you got to have the proper tools, guys. If you don't have the tools of a pro in this business, we talked about the recipe to success the last two weekend, the last two Tuesday nights. If you don't have the proper tools, you are going to struggle in this business. You're going to be out there in the field spinning your wheels. So resource number one, properties in pre-foreclosure that I've scanned for equity. I'm about to show you how to do that with the push of a button. Resource number two, properties where people are selling them themselves. They're selling their properties for sale by owner. They're not listed with a realtor. Resource number two, three, database. Guys, you, you want to have a database, no less than 350 buyers, sellers, tenants. And then you want another 100 rehabbers and investors that pay cash for properties. Database, database, that. There's some keys to this business, guys. And database is one of them. The bigger your databases are, the more successful you will be. Guys, I have 40,000 investors in my investor database. You can have 40,000 investors in your investor database overnight with the push of a button because my software will connect you to 40,000 investors overnight. And that investor database is growing by the moment. It's growing by the second. It's growing right now. Resource number four, word of mouth. Guys, the majority of the business that Rhonda does today, that I do today, that Greg Jr. does today, um, it's it's by word of mouth. We've been in the business so long, and, and we do business the right way every time that we do that. That word gets out. The deals come find us today. That doesn't happen overnight. You'll never get to that space unless you start. Now, the good news is you're on this webinar tonight, so that means you started. So let's go take a look at uh, one of these areas that, that, that I talked about, finding properties in pre-foreclosure that we've scanned for equity. And um, I, I pulled up this trending screen. I was trending the Tampa Bay market area um, before I got on the webinar tonight for, for a consulting student in Tampa. And, and guys, you want to make sure you're looking for real estate in areas that are hot spots. A hot spot is an area that gives us a 5% appreciation rate and is trending up over the last 12 months. Now, I could spend an hour with you on just trending market areas and days on market and, and, and income, uh, income and demographics and just all kinds of variables. Right now, I'm just looking at Tampa, Florida, and I just really quickly put in a 5% appreciation rate to a 30% appreciation rate. And I said, search over the last year, guys, anywhere that you see this red on the screen is where we've either got a 5% appreciation rate upwards to 30%. And I don't care what city you're in right now, I can put this data in for your city and you're going to get virtually the exact same snapshot that you're getting of the Tampa, Florida area. Real estate is on fire right now throughout this country. Guys, we are in the beginning of a steep incline in the value of properties. This is the single greatest time I've ever seen in our country's history to become investors, to become master investors. Now, what that means is, as three to five years, we got another market correction company. And uh, that, that's, that's a whole nother webinar. I can teach you how to be safe during the next market correction. It's very simple. Very, very simple. Guys, we have very simple guidelines that we've applied for this last 17 years that has keep us that have kept us very, very safe. So and when I go into my software, I can go into the lead section of the software. Guys, I can look at properties on the MLS on my software. I don't need to call a realtor. I have access to that. Now, let me be clear. I'm not a realtor. I don't have a license as a realtor, and I don't want one. I can look at properties in pre-foreclosure. I can look at everything that went to auction and was bought, if it was bought by the bank or bought by an individual. I can look at bank of properties, properties with equity in them, free and clear properties, and cash buyers, which I'll show you guys in just a moment. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some properties in pre-foreclosure in Tampa, Florida. And uh, it takes a little bit of time for the software to pull this data um, because it's pulling tons and tons of data. But I just want to go ahead and jump out here to page number two. Guys, I got a property right here, estimated value $514,000, amount of default $308,000. Guys, that, that is a great property for the process of assignment of contract, maybe a fix and flip, maybe a buy and hold. I don't know. We need to research the property a little bit further. So let's just go ahead and take a second and research this property. And guys, I have no idea what we're going to find here. I'm doing this live real time. It's just like you guys are sitting in my living room right now. So the unpaid balance on this property, 308447 The auction date on this property is 316 of 2018. So guys, th these people have what? 19 days and this property goes to auction. So it's got the trustee's name on here. It's got the trustee's address, it's got the borrower's name. Um, it, it, well, look at this. This is interesting. So the lender's name, okay, so it's got the lender's name. Um, so the lender on this looks like they're an investor. Um, cause I don't recognize that bank name. Now it's an individual's name that bought the property. So man, there is an incredible opportunity right here with this piece of property. I guess, um, Hey Rhonda, maybe you'll have to work on this one tomorrow with Moses. So we'll, uh, we'll talk, we'll talk later. So I'm going to save the property to my list of properties. And I'd like to look at this property today. So because the software pulls so much incredible data straight out of the county courthouse, sometimes it takes a little bit to pull this data. So it's going to give us our property of question that's in pre-foreclosure right here. It does give us an arrow photo of the property. It's not a real-time picture. I don't need a real-time picture. It's just letting me know the surrounding neighborhood and what other properties in the neighborhood look like. I mean, check this out. It's going to tell me the value of properties in Florida in the county, in Tampa, in the zip code, on the street. Guys, properties on this street, in this area are skyrocketing. Super hot spot. Now, the most important thing that I want to look at is comparables. What have other properties in this area sold for? So I go in here and I hit search. And uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to pull up these comparables, but I got a property right here, um, less than two tenths of a mile away, that sold for five thirty. Then I got one that sold for a hundred. Then I got one that sold for two twenty three, two eighty five, four eighteen, six oh nine. So the, my cops are kind of all over the board here, guys. Like I told you, I'm just doing this live real time. So what we could do is we could kind of search in here. So there's our property. There's our very first comp, that very first comp sold for 530. Um, you know, ultimately, what I would want to do is save all of these properties to my list of properties, look at their square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, look at the neighborhoods. And uh, you know, what I do is I normally take the high comp out, take the low comp out, throw it out, and then I'll take the average of all the comps. So I could do a full comps report. And again, guys, I'm just doing this with you live real time tonight on the webinar like I was in my ribbon room. So the average is 404, the high is 625, um, the low was 100,000. So I, I, I'm thinking that we've got a property that's probably worth about $400,000 with an amount of default of $300,000. Guys, that, that's, that's a great opportunity. So we'll just go back out here and just take a look at a couple more of these. And again, it takes a little bit of time for the software to pull the data. You know, it, it, I, I'll, I'll go back to lobby in a moment because I can put filters in here. In other words, let's say that I've got investors that are cash buyers and I know what those cash buyers want to buy. I could put filters in their bedrooms, bathrooms, average days on the market, price range, um, you know, appreciation rates. There's so many filters that I can put in there. And now when I hit the button to search, it's only going to show me properties that meet the requirements of the investors that want to buy. Guys, what I'm showing you how to do with this software is dramatically collapse time frames. Estimated value, 149. Amount of default, 68. Estimated value, 71. Amount of default, 32. Estimated value, 128. Amount of default, 122. Doesn't look like a great deal. I could do a sandwich lease option with that one. I could lease it from the person in foreclosure and then turn around and release it to somebody else for a profit. 
So I'm just going to go out here and uh, we'll look at another page of these. Um, estimated value, 187, amount of default, 96. Now look at this one. Estimated value, 65, amount of default, 71. We'd have to mitigate a short sale. Same way with this one, 119 to 28. But in the beginning, I would just have you guys working on these ones that show equity in them. They're going to be much, much simpler deals to do. So... Guys, I can, I can filter by bedrooms, bathrooms, sell amount, listing amount, and I'm, amount of equity, MLS status, square feet, days on the market. So when I'm interviewing these buyers that are cash buyers, I'm asking them, what areas do you want to buy in? What price range do you want to buy in? How much equity does the property have to have in it? What do the days on market need to be? And they're giving me their parameters. Now when I hit the search button, I'm just looking for specific properties that meet the parameters of my investors. And I just want to show you guys one more thing really, really quickly. So if I go over here and I click on cash buyers and I hit search software is going to show me everybody in Tampa Florida that paid cash for a property guys this is where you find your investors that are cash buyers so I you know I go over here I see the property I can click on view the property hey, guys listen I'm doing this live real time the very first one I click on check this out very first property, um, there's the address. Um, they bought it for $350,000. I click view the property, and what does it say right there? Okay, Flyboys Investments LLC. When you see that the buyer was a corporation, a company, then we know that's another investor. I'm going to call this guy up and I'm going to say, hey, man, um, I noticed that you guys on February the 7th bought a property at this particular address. You paid all cash for it and you paid $350,000. Now, when I say that to somebody, what do you think they're going to say to me? Well, how in the world did you know that? I'm going to let them know, hey, man, I'm a master investor. I got high-tech software that gives me all the cash buyers in the market area. Let's meet for lunch tomorrow. I'll bring the cash buyers list, and I'll give it to you for free. I've just made myself valuable to that investor. I don't know. Let's see what number two says. I have no idea, guys. All right, so that's a private owner. Well, you know, I shouldn't say that. We don't know that it's a private owner, but it's, you know, um, uh, Ricardo and Pamela Christopher – the, some investors put properties in their personal name. You won't if you're in my consulting program because a part of becoming a part of my consulting program is um, having a tax class with my asset protection professionals to make sure that you're set up properly. Third one on the list, guys. Here's another LLC. Guys, there's no better time to get in this business than right now. There's a lot of competition in the marketplace because I've just taught you how to leverage that competition. Let's go find the cash buyers. Let's find out what they want to buy. Let's go find what they want to buy. Let's get it under contract and we can assign it to them for an assignment fee. And, and, and guys, I could go on and on and on with you in the software for hours, you know, three websites, an entire marketing program. Um, if the websites alone, that's a $20,000 value. We give you websites to attract motivated buyers, motivated sellers. Uh, we teach you how to, 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 to create the websites, how to drive traffic to the websites, everything you need to automate your business. Now, the step-by-step -step process for the assignment of contract, find the property. Step number two, we're going to go through an information gathering process. We teach you how to do that. It's a four-minute phone call to these homeowners, guys, to get all the information about that property that we need to analyze in the software, to see the property's potential ROI, to see if I even want to present an LOI, a letter of intent, without ever going and looking at the property. Now, if somebody bites on the letter of intent, um, once I've run the numbers, somebody bites on the letter of intent, then I'm going to inspect the property. I'm going to negotiate the contract. I'm going to get the property under contract. When I get it under contract, remember, subject to partner's approval with the 14-day inspection period. That gives me 14 days to get the deal done or get out of the deal, move on to the next one. Find the new buyer. Assign the contract to the new buyer, which would be my investor database. New buyer closes on the property. I don't close. The new buyer closes on the property. And guys, my most favorite part of any transaction I've ever done would be the drive to the bank to deposit our check. Now, that's actually just a joke because today they don't give us checks anymore. Money's no longer real. Money's nothing but electronic current. Money gets wire transferred in and out of our accounts. Here's some common wholesale mistakes, some common wholesale errors. Buying in the war zones, paying too much, working with the wrong agents, letting money or lack of it hold you back. No, let me, let me back up for a second. Letting money or lack of it hold you back. Guys, how much money does it take me to write a contract? 
not much. Earnest deposit, very, very minimal amount. How much credit? Do I have to have a 700 credit score to write a contract? Guys, it doesn't take money to do a sum in a contract. It doesn't take credit to a sum in a contract, but it's certainly going to take the proper tools and some knowledge. And, and uh, you know, when I, when I talk to people about what's holding them back in life, it's because they don't have enough money or they don't think they have enough money, but they got 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand, 40 grand, 50 grand sitting in a 401k or an IRA doing them absolutely nothing. And they're scared to death to touch it. Well, are you going to be able to retire on that? Guys, take some of those resources and invest in my program where I can take you by the hand and show you how to make 10 grand a month with the sign of a contract. Let's start doing some fix and flips for 40 grand a quarter. Not, not pre-qualifying deals or sellers, not knowing how to run the numbers, not making offers, not following up system, giving up too soon. The, 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 the biggest thing that I see rookie investors do in this space when you don't have a mentor or a coach is you give up too soon. Not building that buyer's list, taking advice from <laughs> broke people who don't know what they're talking about either. Guys, in my personal contact information, I, I, I would love to, a chance to talk to each and every one of you. Um, my website is gregredowning.com. If you don't have the scripts that I've just spoke to you about, if you don't have my nine tool bundle, just go to gregredowning.com, click on the big cat button. And when you click on the big cat button, you'll be prompted to go through a couple of steps. You'll get the nine tool bundle from me for free. Um, my, my email, my direct email to me personally, greg at gregorydowning.com. If you want to talk to me personally, if you got questions, webinar feedback, uh, interested in the 5 million line of credit, 100K at 0%, um, you know, you, you can send me an email. Now, I guys, I will tell you, if you check your email right now, um, you do have an invitation for me to schedule a 20-minute consultation to map out a plan for your financial future, where you've where we've dedicated specific time slots. So if you if you if you click on that link, it's going to take you to my calendar, where you are guaranteed to get a call from me or my team. And uh, guys, we'd love to talk to each and every one of you. I've really enjoyed being on the webinar with you tonight. I hope we gave you guys some great insight. Moses, Alice, Rhonda, we're so very, very proud of you. Um, we can't wait for an update tomorrow. God bless each and every one of you guys. This is Coach Gregory, and I'm checking out for the night.